All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to zoom into. Let's begin by going over to the effects panel, and then type transform into the search box. Under distort, drag the transform effect onto your video clip. Then make sure your video clip is selected on the timeline and go up to effect controls. In here, under the transform effect, first let's uncheck use composition shutter angle to make our motion blur work. Then increase the shutter angle all the way up to 360 so you get the largest amount of motion blur. Okay, now let's position our playhead to where we want our zoom to start. Under the transform effect, click the stopwatch next to scale to create a starting keyframe. And if you want to zoom in on something off center, click the stopwatch next to position to create a starting keyframe for that as well. Okay, now that we have our two starting keyframes, let's move the playhead to where we want our footage to be finished zooming in by. Notice how I want my zoom to end right after my first keyframe. This way, my zoom is fast, which will in turn make my motion blur stand out more. Now let's increase the scale to your desired zoom amount to create a second keyframe for scale. I recommend increasing it to at least 300% to get a really obvious motion blur. And I'll also change my positions value to zoom in on something I want. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking zoom effect with motion blur. To make my zoom look even smoother, I'm just going to drag to select all my keyframes. Then right click one of them, hover over temporal interpolation, and select ease in. Alright, now my zoom looks smoother and more professional. If you want to zoom your clip back out with motion blur, just position the playhead to where you want to start zooming back out. Click the little circles next to scale and position to create keyframes so Premiere knows when to start zooming out. Then move the playhead to where you want to be finished zooming out by. Finally, click this little curvy arrow next to position and scale. The curvy arrow button just creates keyframes that reset your video back to its original position and scale. Okay, and now when I play this back, my clip zooms in for a bit, and then zooms back out when it hits my second set of keyframes. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.